welcome to Bristol. We're Thank sat you. here in the home dressing room and, uh, well, you've been here almost two weeks. How are you finding it? Absolutely loving it. I think, um, you know, obviously this, this is impressive, but, but it's more like anything. It's about the people. Um, you know, first got in and took the management camp away to Celtic Manor. And it wasn't just the, the pro rugby team. We took everyone who works out at, um, out at the training base. It was great to start off that. And then the players came in and it was good to meet them and, um, and see where they're at because there's all the testing and everyone's a little bit nervous. Everyone's keen on, and not sure what the new guy is about. But, um, you know, to try to make them realise that I'm just human. <laughs> and uh, uh, But it's been a great time and, and the boys have been really open. We've done quite a bit of work on our skills as well as um, the S&C training. Well, I guess it's quite a change moving here to Bristol for you and your family. You've spoken much about how much you loved uh, your four years in Galway. How is Bristol living up to expectations? Certainly for me and my wife and the children, it's all about we invest quite a bit into, into the community, get to know the people. And uh, my wife's great with people and school, neighbours, um, uh, just get the whole community. So starting up again is never a problem. It's always the same goodbye. And uh, that, that's what the difficulty was uh, initially. But we've done it before. But we, um, but once that's happened, and we had a six-month goodbye, and I think that helped the process. And and, and we're all we're all set, ready to go. And uh, but you know we're going to enjoy our, ourselves here. And um, you know when I played in England with Newcastle, we got great friends in Newcastle. Then I was at Northampton and great friends, and and now in Galway. And so we 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 know that we're going to um, meet wonderful people here in Bristol too. So. And, and enjoy, more importantly, enjoy our time, enjoy meeting people. We've talked about it's all about the community and family. Of course, joining Bristol is very much about a, a family, a group of sports that are a family, but also, of course, the Lansdowns. I guess, is that part of something that attracted you to take up the job? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, always for me, you know, I have my own coaching vision. I have my own mission statement and my own philosophy on how I want to coach. The biggest lessons I learned uh, early in my career was to make sure that it aligns with the organisation you're going to join. What I believe a vision should be really short and simple, but represent what everyone thinks and what everyone does. So um, what came through clearly was they want to inspire our community through rugby success. And if you think about it, um, Bristol, when we say our community, not everyone is from Bristol and not everyone in Bristol is originally from Bristol. And Bristolians live all over the world. So if we do really well as, as a rugby club and as a rugby team, mate, people are going to be inspired all around the world. Likewise, when I asked all the players and staff to raise their hands if, um, if they believe they're part of the Bristol community, everyone did. And we come from all around the world and all around England. And so, again, it's a representation. If we do really well as an organisation and team, then we'll inspire people around that live in Bristol, regardless that they're not born from here. So it has real clarity. We put it over here. That's what we strive for. Now it's about us getting down and working on the process and building relationships, get good alignment right through. And... You know, I, was, I, was, I met Lee Johnson for the first time and, uh, and that was great. You know, I was, I was watching his travels and, 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 and I was really inspired by going through. I, I love it when people go through tough times and they hang in there and they stick to their process and they came through and they had a strong finish. So me and him will catch up for a meal and, uh, and chew the fat over coaching. And, and, and that's what I love about the whole family of Bristol sport. Uh, coaching is about not about the actual sport. It's about working with people and he's a chance to learn from other people as well. So I'm looking forward to that. One could suggest that your journey at Connacht was when you took over there four years ago, that they were a team lacking in self-belief and, and some sort of real leadership to give them the confidence to come through. And, and I guess some could pose the same argument here. Oh, without a doubt. And you know, we're in the change room now. What I never want any of our teams to do is stand here and say, we've got to believe, fellas, or we've got to have confidence. You know, if you're talking about it there in the day, in the day of the game, it's, you, you, you haven't got it. Where it comes from is a thing I call train to win. What we do every day, how we uh, prepare, how we train, how we treat each other, we do that every day and we actually train and we focus on the detail and getting everything right. It just takes care of itself. It evolves. We actually enjoy each other's company. Um, we feel confident because we've been able to work hard and, and, um, and get all the detail right. And then you get here, it's just a natural natural thing we, we look forward. And the game is, becomes um, sort of like the, the celebration of all the work we do during the week. Um, what would you like to say to the fans? Because they have been through a lot. Yeah, sure they have. And probably the big one is that we have absolute clarity in our vision, you know, around um, inspiring them, our community, and through the way we uh, do things that have been successful. All, all I can guarantee them is we're going to be working hard every day. Um, 
you know, the way we want to play the game, we, we've got to have clarity on that, and, but more important, the way we work. So when we arrive here at Ashton Gate, they hopefully see the product of what we've been doing during the week. One thing that I heard, that Bristol supporters are, are superb and um, through, through thick and thin, and we, we just hope that we can give them a lot of memories that they can uh, look forward to. Well, I look forward to you and the team creating some magnificent memories this season. Thank you, Lisa. Cheers.